Since I am short on time here, this analysis will immediately start. First off, very clever of them, silently shoving this reveal in our feeds. Let's start off with the story of Abyss. Abyss has been mentioned ever since the release of, Anna, who in turn actually knows connections of the underground, known as, Abyss. Good deal! Abyss? You're interested in that place, are you? Ancient sprawling remains deep below Garrick Mach. That's Abyss. Some folks have made their home there. Obviously, they all have their reasons and tales to tell. But only the most enterprising merchant would venture near it. My advice? Avoid going there yourself. And... That's it. She sounded very cautious of the place. Making it seem like it's just a black market, just as this guy described it. Huh? Things we can't obtain here are likely obtainable by way of the underground. Are you unfamiliar with Garrig Mox Underground? The place is an absolute paradise for those who can't stay above ground. At first, I knew it can't be just a black market, it had to be something. Well, it actually is the expansion pass. At first glance, it immediately shows that it is a new area to explore, like life in the monastery. What you'll find here is intriguing, this place has a lot of places that are questionable. Such as, the statue of Lady Cyrus. This ominous looking statue. And, the blacksmith? Oddly enough, the facilities have been moved below ground. It could mean nothing, but it could mean that this would be the primary base of operations for this timeline. What you'll already notice already, is that the three houses, are actually together in uncovering the secrets of Abyss. But the odd fact is, why is it that they make it sound like, it's a separate activity rather than a route? Even when they have the highlights. One key mention is that, the location that they fight in, are places that aren't usually active, or aren't present in the full game. Which could be, the Steeled Forest. Ancient remains, dating back when the saints were alive, like Saint and Jack? Too many questions, about the story of Abyss itself. Maybe, an event happened, that actually follows up this conversation. Those Abyssian idiots. All they ever do is cause trouble. We'd best purge the entire underbelly of Garrig Mach. Very interesting, indeed. What is going on in the monastery? Or actually, what is the monastery's secrets? However, it does not mean, that I have no worries. More on that later. But let's move on to the characters. First off, Baltus, he actually has a gauntlet relic, meaning he could be part of, nobility. Unless, since this is an underground area, it is most likely that it was made out of Agarithium, like Edelgard's relic. One thing, I would like to mention. Why did Yuri, make the critical attack? when he has zero chance. Maybe, I'm getting delusional, because of all the hype. I am very worried, about how long this timeline will be, because it doesn't seem to have a time skip for five years. Meaning, that it may not offer, a lot of information about, those who slither in the dark. Or those known as, Agarthians. Many speculate that, these students, are, Agarthians. But they don't seem pale, but who knows. All that matters, is that we get answers. Answers to this question. Who, the hell, are the Agarthians, exactly? Plus, looking forward to, the Cindered Shadows, featuring, the Ashen Wolves, my new favorite house, on February, 12. And tune in for my project for my channel, Celestial Archives. And listen to that music. We're a unique bunch from all walks of life. Once you get to know us, I'm sure you'll love it. Don't worry, no one will die. We'll get everyone else safe. 